working nine to fives, trying to get my music finalized. Everybody been comparing me, but man, it's funny, I can never find a ties. I'm so high, but so low key. Perp on me like Kobe. Yo, girlfriend try to take me down, but like LaMelo Ball, she getting no D. Like, new to the game, but I'm killing this shit. Climb up the trots like I'm drilling this bitch. Jacking your shorty, she's still on the tip. How could she catching these feelings and shit? Never get the benefit of the doubt. Trying to figure if you win or you out. Popping no, I'm out here repping the city in Calabasas, but we live in the south. I just did a couple million a week. I just did a couple mil like a meek. Took a flight so we could chill on the beach. Lately, nothing's been appealing to me. Gotta get it if I say I got it, then you know I did it for the rest of the team. Yeah, that's for the rest of the team. Yeah, that's for the rest of the team. Okay, bitch, I just turned 22. I'm RTL. I'm an educational streamer, YouTuber, summoner school mentor, one trick pony with over 5,000 games with Renekton. I am considered one of, if not the best Renekton players in the world. When I get target banned or forced to autofill, things don't go so well. No! Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Fuck! No! Are you kidding? Oh my god, oh my god. I can't, I can't last hit. I can't last hit. Oh, they're Dinah. Dinah. Oh, God. No! Oh! <laughs> that was the worst mechanics ever. I misclicked that so hard. I'm on a mission to fix that by learning every champ in the game and being coached by the best players in the world. This is my journey. I'm here with Crendenda, a 646 LP peak challenger rank 37 Jace one trick pony. Thank you so much for that pleasant introduction. Uh, hey guys, my name is Credenda and I'm a mid lane Jace Wonder Pony from NA. I peaked at 646 LP or rank 37 in July on my main account this season. And at one point I had two accounts in Challenger, um, Credenda and Credendaddy. I've been playing ranks since early season two and then first reach high elo in season three when Yasuo got, first got released. I would just max E, get red pot, solo kill cheese. And I was mating Zed and Yasuo at the time. Uh, near the end of season six, I played a game versus Crowns Jace. Um, as Yasuo and just got absolutely smashed, which just made me want to learn the champion. Um, and then from there, I started playing Jace, and I've been in love with the champ ever since. You know, I love Jace because he's one of the most mechanically uh, intensive champions in the game, with his DPS being almost entirely predicated on accurate animation canceling and input speed. If I played Jace mechanically perfectly, you can win pretty much any situation with the tools that are provided in his kit, a concept what I just, which I just love as a champion. And it allows for improvement on a micro level at every stage in every game, which just really um, keeps the champion fresh and keeps me improving at the game in general. Uh, some strengths Jace has, or the main strengths of Jace mid, are his early to mid game power and his lane priority. In most matchups, mid lane you'll have an insane amount of early priority and lane pressure, which allows you to respond to skull skirmishes, ganks, and invades very quickly from the mid lane. This, in addition to access to all of his abilities from level three onward, makes him a powerhouse in the early game and very easy to snowball with if you maintain uh, snowball with if you maintain tempo. In lane, his level one and two are uh, quite strong if your opponent doesn't respect your damage, so you can really abuse people that don't play around Jace um, the proper way. His levels four to five make his QE poke quite effective and you should save your QE for these levels so you can really chunk the enemy laner. Because levels 1 through 3 your Q doesn't really have, uh, your QE rather doesn't really have the damage required to warrant the mana that's being used for that QE. So you want to wait till level 4 or 5 and then establish a solo kill or lane priority with the damage you chunk off your laner. He's very strong into champions like Echo, Zoe, and Kassadin who you can bully early or look for kills and put pressure on post 4 or 5. Additionally his early game build path and power spikes, long swords, dirk, ghost play, etc. make his burst and poke insanely oppressive when he's ahead and if he maintains tempo and his uh early game build is just extremely efficient with all the long swords you can use uh since jace is an ad champion taking a mid lane often hinders your composition's damage variety making it very easy for them to stack armor you know aka tabbies or the brown adidas um if you don't maintain tempo and you can really fall behind against these types of compositions additionally jace doesn't have an ultimate ability making him fall off very hard post 30 to 35 minutes in the game where game changing ultimates play a pretty big factor in winning the game his mobility is also very limited in terms of escape he only really has the go you know the all-in melee form button so you have to be really careful with your positioning on jace and he also requires good our decision making in order to accurately manage his abilities. If you make a form switch mistake, you'll be locked out of either your primary source of utility or your primary source of damage for five seconds, which can decide a skirmish or a team fight in many cases. Unlike Jace Top, Jace Mid has several matchups like Victor, LeBlanc, and Syndra who can bully you early game, set up ganks to put you behind early, and outscale you in other stages of the game if you don't get an early lead. 
despite being an AD mid laner, Jace can actually fit into most compositions in the game at the moment, right? So if you have a pick a comp like Jin, Morg, Ivern, um, you can set up really good picks with Jin's uh, snare off your QE. Um, Morg's bind, you can set up some really good burst combos, and then the Ivern will enable you to get those doubles and poke more effectively. So he fits really well into those types of compositions. If you're running a protect the backline type of composition with like maybe Braum, Gragas, Kaisa, he can also work as like a peel um, type of character. If you're not really um, gathering the needed tempo to deal a ton of damage, you can use your hammer form E to kind of peel. You can play off the Braum stun and things like that with your range W. For early game comps, say for example, you have Elise or some other early game jungler and like Draven and Braum, you can really use that early tempo, that early priority to get really early leads for your team and snowball into the later parts of the game. If you're running a tempo type comp like Graves, Kindred, maybe a Kaisa and a Pike, you can kind of establish the early game priority for your team and kind of get those characters to a place where they can then 1v9 in the late game. Even though he is an AD mid laner, you don't really need ap top laners um when you do when you are playing jace because actually the ad carry role and the jungle role to a certain extent does have some ap sources of damage now but good ap top laners like rumble and really good with jace mid as well the best junglers are just anything with a good early game ap but it doesn't have to be ap or enabler junglers so enable junglers are things like kha'zix zin Zhao, pantheon really good early game junglers a lot of you get ahead early good ap junglers are like evelyn elise nidalee these types of junglers that are good early but also give your composition a bit of a damage mix in there and then enabler junglers like gragas zach ivern who are also ap but also enable you to get really fed and really ahead early so the runes i'm currently running on mid jace electrocute with taste of blood eyeball collection and relentless hunter secondary running biscuit delivery and time warp tonic this is because with the recent changes to electrocute it actually is a lot better on jace because of its higher uptime you can proc it in a variety of ways melee range all that good stuff so it actually gives you a lot of uptime on your burst damage and your poke in lane and a lot of priority during those situations as well i personally run taste of blood because they ran uh or they actually nerfed sudden impact in the last patch or a couple patches ago um, and I think I feel like Taste of Blood just gets you through those harder lanes um, a little bit easier, especially coupled with the Biscuit Delivery and Time Warp Tonic, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, Eyeball Collection, I think, is just really good in, in general as a mastery. I can see the argument for Ghost Poro and Zombie Ward because uh, they have their unique utilities, but I just like that um, passive thing that I don't really have to manage much, and it does really help with snowballing as well. Um, Relentless Hunter, I feel like, is the best in the bottom tree. I do see some people running... Uh, ravenous hunter for that healing but since jace's abilities are mostly aoe i feel like relentless hunter just gives you that roaming pressure gives you that map pressure and it's just better um for the way jace operates as a champion where um if you get to a situation or a skirmish faster um you can oftentimes make the difference with the crucial qe and things like that so i just think it's the best um hands down and because if you're going uh domination and, and you're going mid lane, you have to be running Biscuit Delivery and Time Warp Tonic right now. It's just absolutely bro uh, broken on most mid laners. Um, the extra duration on your potions from the Time Warp and then the Biscuit Delivery, um, coupled with a long sword three pot start, just allows you to sustain pretty much any lane, um, allows you to get to that Dirk uh, spike a lot faster, which is your biggest spike on Jace. And it's just overall so insanely broken that you'd be um, just dumb not to take it right now in this meta. For the go to build that I'm usually running on, uh, mid lane Jace is long sword three pot start every game. Uh, this is uh, dual purpose because I used to be running Dorn's Blade back when that was premium and sustain and uh, kind of poke damage for your lane. Uh, but because I am running Biscuit and Time Warp, I do like running the long sword three pot start. So I do have those three potions that I can use with the Time Warp and the Biscuits, as well as getting that long sword. So my Dirk is only 750 gold on my first base, and getting that Dirk on your first base is really. Um, just the, the end of a game most times if you can get that early Dirk. So uh, the sooner you get there, uh, the better. And then pretty much every game, uh, you're going to be wanting to run Ghost Blade into Dust Blade into a Kindle Gem, into LDR or more Reminder, depending on if they have healing or not. Finish up your Black Cleaver and then run right into QSS, GA, or another situational item if the game demands it, maybe some Lifesteal or something like that. Um, this is because it's the most efficient build path for Jace. Um, the lethality and the AD he just benefits so much from. Uh, the active on the Ghost Blade is just so essential to the way um, Jace is played right now. And Dust Blade gives you a lot of burst damage as well, while maintaining that efficient build path. The reason I run Kindle Gem 3rd is to overcap, or not to overcap, but to get me more CDR. Because the sooner you can get to that 30%, 40% CDR mark on Jace, the sooner you can really start poking the enemy and be really, really oppressive with your poke and your burst damage. So that's why I really like running Kindle Gem in that third slot. And then, as you'll see when I explain in the boot choices, um, it really does synergize well with CDR boots. Because lately I've been running um, Ghost Blade, Dust Blade, uh, CDR boots into Kindle Gem to get that 40% CDR or maybe just Kindle or just CDR boots for that 30% CDR but 40% when I get the blue buff so it just makes your poke so 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 insane and then if you just sit on the Kindle Gem 
you're getting pretty much everything you want out of the black cleaver the tankiness the cdr um and the ldr is really what you need to go burst through these tabbies burst through all this armor that they're going to be building so i feel like this is just the best build to keep your damage as relevant as possible throughout um all stages of the game in terms of boots there's actually a variety of choices that i run uh, on jay smith for boots if you're a chad like me you take mobies if you're snowballing before 11 minutes it just allows you to get so much roam pressure so much map pressure and allows you to really accelerate the game on a champion like jace where if you make one mistake or fall off later in the game you're going to be absolutely useless so it really helps you um prioritize and really utilize your early game power if you get it really early if you don't get it early or if the lane's going pretty even you can go mercs or tabbies versus um, or mercs versus three to four hard CC or multiple magic damage sources, or you can go tabby versus all AD, or if even versus an AD laner. Um, lately, um, my personal boot of choice has been Lucidity, um, and I run this when I'm going versus a mixed damage team, or if I'm even versus an AP mid laner, or even if I'm ahead versus a uh, standard AP mid laner in, in a more high low game, uh, because generally in high low games, I'm going to be wanted, wanting to spend all my money on damage as opposed to boots, and I'll usually buy them. Uh, post 9 and 11 minutes not necessarily early enough for me to utilize the full uh, uh, capacity of the moby boots so those are my choices that's my build and uh, obviously get blue trinket level 9 as well uh, for the snipes and the vision if you like our content make sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below to join our notification squad <laughs> it's clean bro it's so clean bro all right so long sword three pots correct yep all right i'll see you in the mid you have a uh, certain spot uh, that you stand, uh, level one. Uh, not really. I um usually just ward uh, pixel if I need to, right? So yeah. like, um, either top pixel if my jungler's starting bot side, or bot pixel if my jungler's starting top side. Yeah. Um, usually the jungler and the support will ward those though. So if they do ward those, I typically want to walk um with the wave to lane so I can get like an early push going against melee matchups or a um uh, or just establish lane priority against like range matchups. Yeah, so like if, um, like so if the wave was coming in here, I would want to be like right around here, so when it's like right over here, I yeah. can get one auto, and then as soon as it hits here, I get two autos. And then if I stay two autos ahead of them the entire wave, I start building a slow, slow wave that pushes to their tower, and then if a scuttle fight breaks out, then they just have to deal with the huge wave and they can't follow me. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You're always just ready to go. Yeah, or if like nothing else happens, then they have a huge wave that they have to see us in our tower, and I just beat their ass while they try to do it. <laughs> beat their ass, hell yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Use oh, that yeah. range poke. Okay. So, uh, wait, should I record in uh, Lud uh, Ludacity with this one? Yeah, you, you can. Okay. I mean, okay. Just okay, so uh, you know, Brax and Tappy. All right. So, what should I start? I start my uh, I start my Q, correct? Start what? Sorry. I start Q, right? Yep. Start Q every game. Yep. Okay, so you start Q, and then I'll just show you some uh, combos here, um, and then we'll get to like higher levels too. No, yeah, um, so we need we need level two first before I show you pretty much anything, right? So okay. let's just that's okay. from the wave. Yeah, because the basic ones I'm going to show you are um, just standard auto W, right? So orb walking with your W, not the perfect auto W, but I'll show you that um, here as well. Um, I'm going to show you just standard QE, right? So you're not going to cast your E before your Q. You're going to cast your uh, Q before your E. Mm -hmm. um, it helps with your aim. Um, and it helps with the speed at which it comes out, um, just generally. And I'm not really trying to last hit these either. I'm yeah, looking at the. Uh, then there's quick switch, so you stay in like melee form, and then you. Let's just get level three first, actually. You stay in melee form, and then you quickly switch to ranged, and then you throw out your QE as fast as you possibly can, and it gives you the element of surprise um, when you're trying to hit people with it. Um, then there's E auto, so you just E, and then you spam right click on them. Uh, when we're when you auto attack them and then you auto them as they're flying away from you okay. um, There's Q E auto so if you Q close enough to them You can get the E off and the auto off and then you can couple that with quick switch as well We're like you Q E auto them and then quickly switch out and um, uh, Hit them with a Q E as well while they're flying There's no way I'm gonna you... this. There's no way. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm good. just I mean, yeah, I'm just giving you all right so, yeah, so good, you know, it's gonna be great. Yeah, all right. Do you want to do these on the scuttle or like on minions or? That uh, I mean, however you, I mean, however you want to do it. To be honest. Okay. Uh, we can just try it on scuttle. Oh, just scuttle. show you on scuttle. Hey, sure. Fuck. I didn't e. Oh, I suck at. Okay. So just ward here too, so we can see it. Yep. So we're gonna start with just auto Wing, right? Um. So typically you want to get one auto off before you actually start your W because your W will cancel your auto attack animation. Okay. So like this, and then walk around. You know, so you can try it yourself while yeah. mine's on cooldown. Just auto and then W, oh, auto, auto. 
Yeah, oh, no. so it, yeah. I was out of range. Wait for it to be like walking past. And yeah, I'll bad. show you it again too, up. and then you can do it. I have eight seconds. So again, just auto, W, auto, auto. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I can't auto attack. Just like that. We still got it. And then there'll be the standard QE, right? Yes. So. You just um, cast key, uh, Q to where the thing's walking, and then you just put your gate directly on top of yourself. So you're kind of snapping your mouse oh, on top of where it is, so... and then, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, just... Yep, just like that. And you'll get better with aiming, obviously. Oh, I was just trying to aim. I was trying to make sure but... it right. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I wasn't even yeah, trying to aim. <laughs> My bad. And, um, okay. Yeah, and then we can uh, kind of transition that into a quick switch, right? So, okay. um, you start in melee form, they don't really think you can hit them with your range burst, and then you just switch as fast oh, as possible. Okay, okay, so just... Oh, okay, I don't know if I... <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, it's hard stuff. <laughs> it's not even hard, it's yeah. just... That's actually... Uh, okay, I got this. So, that, that's the quick switch. I'll actually show you again too, but yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, the yeah. E-Auto. So I'll just do the E-Auto on you, um, to just show yeah, what you can yeah, do. Yeah. So you have to be pretty close. If I do it from here, I'm not going to be able to get the auto off, mm -hmm. even though I'm in E-Range, and you can kind of look at that if you hover over your E right now. Yeah, I um, I'm not in auto attack range, but I am in E-Range. But if I walk over here, or if I'm like really close to you like this, yeah. um, then I can E and then auto you as oh, you travel. Yeah. So just get really close to me, E, and then spam right click on me. Just like that. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, so it's, it's all about distance. It's just all about getting really, really close, and it's pretty easy to execute after you get that. Um, next, we're going to do QE auto. So uh, much like with the E, you have to be really close for the Q to actually drop you um, close enough to get the E auto off as well. So just okay. stand right here. Stand right there. Come over and stand here. Yeah. So I'm going to get really close to you. Q, E, auto. Uh, okay. So you're just adding a Q at the beginning of it. So get really close to me again. Yeah. Wait, I'll fuck my bad. Oh, oh, that's all good. But yeah, so just stand really, really close. Q, E, auto. Q, E, auto. There it is. That's and crazy. that go works every time as long you as you get your electric proc too. Like instantly. Mm -hmm. That's oh, pretty yeah. dope. Um and then we have uh, quick combo and proper auto W cancel that I'll show you right here and then we'll switch to uh, the other thing. So with the proper auto W, uh, you just killed my word. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so with the proper auto W, um, <laughs> what, what we were doing earlier, right, is we were yeah. autoing and then moving and then W autoing, right? Uh, um, but if you double click on the actual target, so I'll, I'll just do it on you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can actually get the second auto off pretty instantly and then transition to the next two autos. So auto W, auto, auto. See how fast that was? Yeah. And you only click once. So you right click once, okay. W, and then right click once. And if you do that, it'll come out as fast as possible. So, so I so do right auto W, but I click... I click yeah, it just once. Okay, 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 I think I got this. Probably not. That was serious. Ah, I can't auto attack. I can't auto Yeah, it's all good. Here, I'll show you it again. Yikes. So, auto W. Oh, I screwed it up too. So, you just have to wait for your auto animation to kind of go out, the bullet to go out. W, right click once immediately on top of them, and then you can start moving around. Okay. I don't want to kill you. Right. There it is. And that's the fastest way you can get out of your auto W. Mm -hmm. um, then, and this is going to be a little uh, harder, but this is what I call the quick combo, where yeah. you um, incorporate that instantaneous second auto with a QE right afterwards. So I'll show you that right now. Um, so you auto W, and then QE auto auto. So you weave in your QE right after you get that second auto off, and then you finish with your two other autos. So try it on me right now. All right, so. Fuck. Oh, no, it's all good. Just range QE right after the uh, <laughs> uh, second auto. Dude, it's a, uh, trust me, I've, I've had I'm like, overthinking so many it way too hard right now. I'm really overthinking this. Yeah, here, I'll try to, or I'll do it again on you. I don't know. Oh my god, I killed you. Whoops. <laughs> but, uh, no! Yeah, so that's, combo. that's so unfortunate. But yeah, that's the quick combo. I get it. I get and it does it, a ton it. of damage. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. So you're doing basically so EQ too. while the W's still like. Proxy another auto attack as well. Basically. Yeah, so like as your um, second auto, the fast W auto is going toward them, you weave in that QE, um, and it's just pretty much instantaneous. And then you get the second uh, two autos because they're right back up right afterwards. That makes sense. So you're basically doing auto W, which is the first auto attack off to EQ auto auto because it's W still proc, right? Yeah, or well yeah, yeah. QE, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, QE, okay. Yeah, QE, not yeah. EQ. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got this. Do you want me to demonstrate it one more time? Uh, yeah, one more time. Yeah, sure. So, auto W, do we auto auto? Got it.
There it is. That's clean. It's better. That's clean. I'll right, take and it. And then, Shall we? yeah, and we should move on to uh, practice tool now. All right, let's do it. I'm ready to see this crazy ass shit you're going to show me. Okay, so for Jay's combos that are a little more advanced that I'm going to show you, um, we're going to start off with right. So Q, E, auto. Um, but then you just couple that up with a Q, E, auto, quick switch. So you can just quick switch right into that range burst. Um, alternatively, you can also uh, Q, E, auto, quick switch, and then W them. Um, and then just lay all your bursts on top of them immediately. Um, and then if you Q, E, auto, um, you do have to just W as soon as you form switch. Um, so your autos do reset, because if you do um, Q, E, auto, and you try to get another auto off, your auto is going to be down from the E, auto you just did. So you have to press um, W to get that auto back and that's a really good combo for if you're really close to someone and want to disengage um, then we have the uh, t different types of flash QEs you can do um, so if there's someone right here you can Q flash uh, E over the target and put it right into them right the fastest way you can get your QE over there alternatively um, if you want to kind of disengage with your QE flash you can flash behind and send it right there um, and you can also do what's called uh, an angled QE. So because your Q stays on the same vector um, when you flash, so for example, if I Q here and flash, it's going to go the same direction that I initially aim my mouse. So right there. So if I aim it here and flash here, it's going to go there. So if that holds, that then we can angle our Q around things, right? So if I want to hit this target, I can aim my Q here, flash around this one, and then put my gate on top of it. There. There it is. Just angled QE. You can do it around other angles too. So if I'm over here, I can aim right here and then flash here and then get an angled QE there. And it's the fastest way. It was screwed up there. It's the fastest way to get your QE um, around objects like that. Um, there's also the QE true insect. So uh, with Jace's E, you can't E and then flash behind someone because they'll go the same direction. Because the way the E buffers is that it buffers at the start of the animation as opposed to. Uh, Lee Sin's R where you can E flash and just send them behind. Um, but if you're at the right distance, if you're at maximum uh, E range distance, you can actually flash behind and send them in the direction you want. This is super situational and not really effective, but it works also with your Q. So you can input buffer your E with your Q and then flash in any direction you want and send them in that direction. So Q, E, oh, whoops, I screwed it up. Q, E, flash, and you can send them in any chosen direction if you buffer your E um, while you're flying toward them with Q and you're within the range of E, right? So if I Q, wait for me to get into this E range, buffer it, and then flash, I did it a little too late there. Then I can choose the direction they go in. And this is really good for making picks and stuff even though it doesn't um, provide the Q damage. It can make or break a pick if maybe someone's trying to get away and that's the fastest way to get them to your team. Uh, another thing that I'd like to show you is just uh, compounded on the angled QEs uh, with quick switch. So if you are in uh, melee form, they don't expect you to be able to uh, hit them with any range burst, and then you just quick switch and try to aim behind them and get that target. So again, you can do it from this angle as well. Quick switch, aim there, Q flash E. I'll do it again from the other angle, and again from this angle as well. Then we have uh, the QE uh, R into E auto or the QE flash into RE auto. So if you see someone right here, you can QE flash on them, burst them, switch to your R, and then E auto them to get some instantaneous burst off on them. Uh, they can't flash the Q, they can't flash pretty much anything if you just flash directly on top of them and then switch fast enough and get that damage off. You can also follow up with the Q if they're not dead and they have no flash. Um, alternatively, you can start in melee form and get a nice E flash auto. E flash auto into QE auto auto auto. And that's just a way to provide instantaneous burst because they can't flash um, the E auto damage. And then you can just lay all your burst on them right after that. Um, another thing you can do um, that I showed you at the beginning um, is just uh, QE into a uh, quick switch. And this is without the auto, just to kind of disengage them and. Um, whoops, I'm screwing it up. The boy's rusty. And then kind of kite out. And yeah, so those are all the advanced JS combos um, that I'd like to show you, and yeah, there it is. Yeah, none of that shit. Yeah, yeah, so like, Ari, if she misses her charm and she's not six, or she doesn't have ultimate, she's dead. Um, Zareth is the same way. <laughs> same thing with Velkaz. So if you just dodge that, you should be golden. Okay, <clears throat> I got you. Too easy, yeah, so bro. Too, too easy.
My three health pots. <clears throat> uh, I want oh, sit in the top pixel. This game. Oh yeah, I'm gonna ping it. Yeah, sit in the top pixel and then just uh, ask the support to ward the bottom pixel at 115. And then for this lane, it's in the yeah top pixel. Yeah, I told him to ward that one. I ward top pixel. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and then just ward top pixel. So what well, form? I'm sitting like yeah, range form the entire time. Okay, so typically when I start every lane, because it's really important to kind of uh, tailor the wave to what you want to do, um, I stay in range form. Okay. I know there are some Jaces that will try the cheese where they'll stay in melee form, they'll sit off to the side of the lane and then wait for them to walk up and push and then try to cheese them all in. Um, I don't think that works as well anymore um, with the new electric heat because the new electric heat doesn't do bonkers damage. Right? Yeah, it, it does, does like, just little burst, but damage. It's constant. Yeah. So if you don't like kill them, and especially if they have time warp or something, you're just gonna fuck up the wave, and you're gonna get chunked by a lot of the minions. So what I like to do is I start range form. Uh, you don't have to ward top pixel yeah, anymore. Just so go back to that shit. Yeah. So now you got good vision on your side, so you can play pretty aggressive. Um, with Velkaz in most range matchups. I do like to start a little bit of a push, but if they start to push back, um, just let them freeze it to you because you're in a better position there. So yeah, just auto the first two twice and then just look for autos on them, look for Qs on them. Yep. Be sure to get all the last hits. And then whenever he comes up for that CS as well, um, look for those autos as well. Be careful too to walk back every time you auto them because the minions will aggro to you. So you want to get rid of that aggro as soon as possible because that's where you're going to take a majority of your damage. Pop a potion. Okay. Well, potion also gives you movement speed, so if you're ever all inning and you need that movement speed to catch them, you can use that. You're gonna hit level 2 soon off this next melee, and he's playing pretty aggressive. Uh, try to get the next melee dead by the time he walks up, level up your W, and then just go on top of him with a W, R, Q. W, R, Q? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you W in range form. There you go, so nice, nice poke. Good, good, good. And now don't don't auto the minions. Don't, don't auto the minions. Because okay. you want to keep it near the middle as much as possible. Gotcha. Near the middle or like pushing toward you as much as possible in range matchups. Because that's where you have the most like priority over your damage. I have a nice little order here too on the side, so I'd see. Yeah. yeah just like the that range. At all times. Uh yeah, switch to range here. And then just look for uh Q poke. Be sure to get that melee. Oh fuck it. Yeah, just don't miss the cannon and then look for pressure. Yep. Look to deny him off this cannon. Okay, you denied him the cannon. Oh, oh, oh wow, that out. barely lived. Fuck. And remember, don't look for QEs until level 4 or 5. I keep just look for regular Q's. He's running that fucking uh, that slow thing. Yeah. And he also has barrier. Pop a potion. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you hit level 4, I want you to start chucking your QE at him. QE? Yeah. Right here, man. So if he walks close to those uh, melee minions too, um, uh, try to, uh, if he walks close to those uh, ranged minions again, uh, switch to melee and then Q onto the minions and hit him. With that, if he's low health. If he's full health like that, you can't really kill him yeah, right I now, but really if much. he ever gets low. So level up your Q and then start trying to chunk him with those QEs. So also, back, if you yeah. if you play back a little bit, see he'll walk up. If he ever walks up to the melees, you can actually QE the melees, or, or the range minions rather, and the Wait, AOE. You're talking about the uh, QE like my melee form or? Uh, range form, range form. So if you range form QE onto uh, the minions, the radius is very large, so it'll hit them if he's really close to them. Right now. So like right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So right there. So it's QE every time. Never... Yeah. Uh, pop biscuit right here. And if he walks up uh, to try to poke you on tower, go on top of him in melee form and just kill him. Like, if he walks close to those ranged minions, uh, just pop on top of him and kill him. Kill him here. Switch to range form. Yep. QE. Yeah, That's okay. Really bad. You can flash after him. Oh, okay. It's fine. Just push up the wave. It's fine. He has barriers still, though. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. That's why I didn't ignite him. I mean, I didn't really... Yeah, you burn flash. Ping his flash. And then, yeah, just keep leveling up that Q. Yeah, he's about fast. He's trying to back. Party back right yeah. now. Uh, wait till the next wave comes, and then once the next wave comes, uh, QE the melee minions, and then um, switch to range form after you press range form or melee form after you press range form W, and then just clear out the minions on the back line. Wait, so what is it again? It's uh... QE QE these front lines. <laughs> press W in range, and then switch to melee, and then yeah, just fucking beat it and press W and clear out the wave. 
Yeah, that's the fastest way to clear out the wave. It's just the QE, the melees, QW, the backline. I'm thinking this so hard. I'm like overthinking so hard. I'm like, okay, what a villain. No, that's not what good. What's doing? the CS looking like? Get out. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, CS is well, looking real good. Now. So I'm going Dirk, right? Yeah, go Dirk. And then rush. go refillable. Go refillable. You don't really need pink cords yeah, in this, let's be honest. Or, or do you have a pink cords? Or you have money for pink cords? Yeah. Yeah, grab them. How many? Yep. Uh, just one. That's fine. Yeah, and then all, uh, how do you make it where it goes R. like the angle like this? Is it just... Uh, so you uh, aim your mouse really close to your model on the right side. Right um, side. So, okay. so yeah, you just put your pointer like as close to your model as uh, possible on the right or left side, and then it'll cast sideways. Gotcha. Uh, QE him here. Oh, never mind. Oh, I should have fucking stayed. Yeah, that's all good. Um, again with the wave like this, uh, switch to range form or melee form when you can, and then whenever he walks up to those uh, backline minions, just Q onto him and look for an all in. Uh, Level up your W as well. So right now, yup, 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 W. Range form. And fly. Oh, okay, nice, 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 nice. Yep. And um. Remember when you're in melee form, uh, don't use E in melee because it doesn't really do um, warrantable damage um, to use it. And it also knocks him back and gives him uh, more distance to run. Um, so whenever you jump on top of him in melee form, uh, oh, nice, Gooey. Uh, try to uh, not use your melee form E because it costs a lot of mana and it'll just send him farther away. Gotcha. I, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I, I, just slow, I use the slow more to my advantage right there. Yeah, so it's all good. Again. It's like, I can't so yeah, uh, go uh, melee form and push this out. And just Q, W, the back line. Back line. There it is. Okay. Yeah. It is a long range, so it'll hit most of the minions. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all good. Uh, look around for vision. Vision? You don't really need a base right now. No. Yeah. Get a ward. Put a pink maybe Yeah, right up in that bush. Right or maybe yeah. a pixel. Yep. Yeah, put a pink there in pixel and then uh, see, look see, for see. a gank. Oh, this looks pretty gankable. I think he's warded. Oh. Pop a potion from Umus Beat. Level up your Q. Switch to range for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You burn a slash. Good, good. These things. Pop one of these. Huh? Yeah. I remember just to max your Q. I see, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to, as you can tell, I'm trying to, like, not click my abilities. It's something new that I've been trying to do. That's why it's taking yeah, so yeah. long to do it, because I'm, like, trying to, like, Oh yeah, no problem. Make sure I get it right. Nice QE. Stay in uh, range form here. Oh, every time you say stay in range form. Or, or sorry, not, it's not range form, but yeah. yeah. No, 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 it's melee. You, you were right. I, I'm misspeaking. Because melee form, you always want when you can to get those autos off on the wave. Because mm -hmm. in melee form, you gain mana every auto attack. Watch out, we're here. Yeah. Uh, you have decent vision. I would say look um around at the other lanes and see which lanes are gankable right now. So top lane just got ganked. He's dead. Yeah, Is bot lane pushing up? Uh, to their tower, yeah, or are they getting pushed in? Ink you onto him too whenever he goes up to those minions like that. Like right there. And then switch to range for him. Be careful for that R. I know mana. Yeah, if you ignited, you had it, but it's all good. Yeah, he has barrier. I need to use it though. I'm just oh, didn't he, didn't he use it? No, he still has a barrier. I didn't use it yet. Oh, I don't know why he's using it yet. There's so many opportunities he could have just used it, he just hasn't. Yeah. That's why I haven't used it yet. Probably going back, right? Yeah. Two, two, I should two, use two. that fight. Yeah, just W whenever you can too, because it helps oh, yeah, shut up faster. Too. Yeah, it's funny. It's like one of Jace's abilities where it's like, well, this is kind of useless, but like the only thing you use it for is like pushing the wave. <laughs> like, honestly. Damn. Okay, so next I want to go for. I'm trying to get a. Uh, go Warhammer. Yeah, just go full Warhammer here. Okay. And then if you can afford boots or anything, get that. And if you can't afford a pink ward. Oh, you said round Tommy, right? I'll get a pink ward again. Yeah. Okay. Just in case they clear that one. Alright, so I need to put a round Tommy, right? Do I do it? Uh, oh, yeah, right there. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. It's, um, so it's like, uh, the way Jace's gate, uh, angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, um,. Whichever side of the model you cast it to, it'll go, um, you know, like horizontal on that way. Q him here. Missed it. I angled it. Strange, strange. Okay. How does he spam that? What the fuck? Damn. There's a lot of damage, Jim. Okay. 
Okay, flashed. You guys might be able to win this. Nice. Nice, nice interrupt. Ignite, very nice. Good shit. Awesome. And we got the groups too. Very nice. I kinda knew he was gonna do that. I knew I'd just knock him out of it pretty much. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a really good interrupt. Alright, so I need to fucking clear this though. So I EQ this with my fucking range. Yeah. Wait, oh my fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I was so focused on landing my E that I, Oh my gosh! Bro, this is so bad! <laughs> Yeah, in general, <laughs> uh, in clear in melee form. Uh, you want to W in range form first, um, and then switch to melee form so you get those three autos in melee form. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. each of those autos will give you mana back as well. Back um, so you W in range form, switch to melee, QW backline, auto them each once, and then they all die. Oh, auto each once. And, hey, okay, yeah, yeah. I get it. Because you always want to get some mana back too in your melee form. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's the most efficient way to clear the wave if you can clear it in melee form, but obviously it's the most risky because, you know, you're in melee form and you use your save. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They do yeah, on top of um, whenever, kill. another thing I'm noticing is that whenever um, Belkaz comes, or, or is um, hitting your tower and you come back to lane, and he's really close to those uh, range minions, yeah. just look for a QE out of Fog of War to hit those minions and to hit him, because it'll clear the minions, it'll hit him, and he might take a tower shot if he doesn't walk back in time. And then when he's in this open space like this, yeah, just look for QBs just like that. Very nice. Got you. Yeah, and just look to zone him. All that good stuff. Thanks, super Always look for um, your other lanes as well, just to see if they're they're gankable, right? Because this guy's playing pretty passive, right? You're probably not going to get a solo kill on him just because he's playing so passive. But if their bot lane or something is shoving up, you can quickly shove up this wave and then just go to roam. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, Sion's dead. Uh, yeah, look at the situation bot lane. You might be able to get something here. I'd say go, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just keep switching. Just be ready to be in range form when you finally do get there. Oh, this is the just move. So Pop a biscuit. So you get some movement speed. I'll just go for Morgana here. Nice, good bind. Switch to range form. Nice, good job. And just go back mid and uh, catch that wave. I keep you I didn't use it from her speed, you're right though. That's actually insane speed to get. I've actually ran it. I've never ran on Renekton before, but uh QE him here in the melees or in the back line. Yep, and it hits him. Ooh, if you dodge that you should you could flash on him, he has no flash. Oh, smoke screen. I should walk this way. Just because Yeah, I just grab that big mid wave. And yeah, whenever um, you can start in range form and then go on top of them in melee form, uh, you should always look to press that range W before you go into melee form because um, you get that triple auto off while you're in melee as well, which deals a lot of damage. Nice. You can probably look to poke this here. Ooh, nice flash. I would just dip. Worth it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just push out the wave here. And then base, maybe. You're pretty low on yeah. mana. You can kill him. You can him. Nice. Him. Good shit. Uh, you can catch this wave. Yeah. yeah. I should really catch it. Yeah, and just remember to keep leveling up your W and your. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. Is it W or E? Uh, W. Sorry, you, did you have you even? Oh, you don't actually need all, do you? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, only W, because um, the only thing, the reasoning that you do this, I would base here. Yeah, I need you're probably base. gonna lose tower, but ping the tower and have Jinx go there. You just can't. Yeah, hold I need. It I need here. to reset. I have no mana. Yeah, grab a ghost blade. Okay, so ghost blade um, and that finish my boots, right? Where do I get boots? Uh, first? can you afford another Dirk right now? Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, grab another Dirk. Yeah, 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 that's the move. Okay, so uh, with um, yeah, the the range, range form thing. Just always try to range form W before you go into melee, so you get that triple. Range form W. Yeah, range from W into melee because that just does. That's so your it's auto attacks. Do extra auto attacks plus build mana. Yeah, the bread and butter. And oh yeah, and the reason um. 
Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Gotcha, boys. Yeah, gotcha, baby. Yeah. yeah, baby. All right, yeah, push up mid. Jace, one trick? Question mark. Ooh. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yup, yup. Let's go, dude. That's the move. Hey! Oh, Me and Yoshi. Squad. The boys. The boys. The boys. I, I look to hit this. Oh, I, need, I need to use fucking uh, the melee for one. Yeah, and use range form W on this for. I should auto attack first. I fucked. Yeah. Uh, when you have lower CDR as well, your melee form passive does work on the tower, yeah. Um, and your W won't be up by the time uh, you can actually use that, so. Once you do get higher levels of CDR, though, when you're taking towers, you're going to want to stay in range form just because your W is up every four seconds. You can kill this guy. Oh, yeah, baby. I didn't play very well. I don't think I comboed that right, but... Oh, you got him. You got him. I'm trying to get fed as fuck, though. It's actually going to be like this. Yeah, shove that up. Like my, my, my really bad mechanics are not looking as bad because <laughs> Fuck yes. Uh, my W fuck. Right. And then after this, just base and grab a dust blade. It looks juicy though. Oh, it looks juicy, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Bro, this shit's fun as fuck, man. God, it's shit. I just gotta like. I'm overthinking so hard right now. It's, it's actually oh, yeah. so gross. It's all good, baby. It's all good, baby. All right, so how do I do it again? Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. Right, right at me, right? Yeah, it's right to the right of you. Oh there shit, let's go, dude. Yeah. That's actually the first time I've done that before. That's so nice. Fuck. Yeah, and oh yeah, and so with the W leveling, the reason why you want to level up your W yeah. is is it uh, it gives damage on both of your forms. So it gives damage on the melee W, it gives damage on the range W, mm -hmm. and it also increases the mana you get back on your autos and melee form from like four yeah. mana to sixteen mana. Same so way. it's a huge difference. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and then it also takes the range W cooldown from 13 seconds to like four, and it increases the damage from 70% of your auto attack to like 110% of your auto attack. So it's just an insane ability, and you need to get it leveled as soon as possible. Whereas um, when you're maxing E uh, in range form, it doesn't give you any cooldown reduction, and it only gives you more movement speed. So it's just not as efficient to put points in E. Should I rotate down or should I rotate? Uh, rotate down here. You have one. I see right. probably possible here, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. the right. oof, that's the move. This is the move. You get a fat QE. This is the fucking oh my god. Oh, this is the move. No! Oh. Oh. Oh, you have the Q up in one sec. My Q went with go! Oh, ah! oh, I tried, it wouldn't Q! Oh my god, I missed the Q by my new Q, I oh, killed him. Stayed, yeah, if you stayed in range there and Q, you think and then so? Switch. Yeah, because if you stay in range, your Q is up in one second. You Q onto all three of them, and then you quick switch. Oh, no, yes, damn it. Oh, mechanics, dude, that's bro, the, mechanics. That's, but that's what I love about this champion, right? Yes, like, exactly. Oh, that's actually, oh that man, you're right. Better. You're right. I should have walked through here anyways. Is that pink? If it's pink, yeah. I get the fucking dust play procs, though, I think. I believe. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I, yeah. Because Jace is just one of those champions, man, that like, just, just think about it, right? If you hit the QE, oh, yeah. you bell cause dies. Oh, yeah. If you, if you Q onto that, it's just, you know. I, I get triple kill there. I get a fucking triple kill. Yeah. Like, ease. I wish I could hear. Yeah. Uh, uh, get some CDR boots. CDR boots are good here. Yo, CDR boots. Nice. Yeah, because you get 30% nice. CDR right now, and that's just so clean. And if you ever get blue buff, it's 40% CDR. You would play with so bad, Ooh. but like, I saw the wave shoved in. Look at this, all this damage on the server without even touching it. And look at oh, this yeah. And the farm's too. probably looking fucking juicy. Well. I rotate here. Oh, uh, you probably won't get there in time. I'd shove out that huge mid wave. That's a fat ass, dude. That's a fat fat wave. Keep looking at the situation though, because it could unfold into something that um uh, could be. Yeah, I'm gonna go for uh, sound. It looks like they got them. So. Oh yeah, yeah, they're good. Oh, do they got it though? Oh, they got. That's crispy. Which I mean, bot side. There looks like some guys were taking possibly mid lane. Uh, yeah, two going mid. Just two. I mean, uh, Morg's in your bot bush right now, and Jin's right there. Does Mark have stopwatch? Yeah, so yeah, Not she has stopwatch, so you can't go on her. Because she just old stopwatches you and you die. Ooh, unless. Ooh. So in situations like that, um, if they go up for that, you can actually Q onto them. Um, oh, I should have actually went on top right there. Yeah, so if you can QE and then go on top in uh, melee form, then you can kill her instantly. Are we gonna play for the Cloud Dragon? Or no? I mean. Ah, uh, I got the wave shoved out, which is really ideal. 
Can I, can I take this or not? I don't know how Jace works. Uh, no, I wouldn't solo the Drake. I would just look for vision. Look to place your ward um in their boss jungle, but not too deep because we just saw him walk in there. Yeah. And then I think your pink's still in pixel. Oh, oh careful, careful. Oh, okay. You can look for something here, though. Oh, melee phone? Oh, okay. Okay, she flashed. Very nice. QE? Let's go. Yup, that's what I'm talking Let's about, go, baby. baby. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, yeah, go around, go around. Did you not flash? You can just flash Q on him. So. Oh, just beat this guy's ass. Flash, flash. Or you don't have flash now. Oh, yeah. Fuck him. Oh, yeah. Wait, baby. there's fucking dude. Get off oh, me! E -E. Yes! <laughs> what? Fuck, yes. Hey, Poggers. Did you get very near? What the Oh no, uh, no, no, no! Oh no! Oh, okay, oh base, shit, base, I almost walked back in it. We close. <laughs> we close, base, base, base. We close out there. Oh, you greedy there fuck. Get <laughs> I actually almost just killed myself. Can we go back, not reset. Yeah. Not bad, not fucking bad. We didn't get any objectives off that though. Like, we really should have a cloud or oh, something, yeah. man. Fuck. I was just so low. Okay. Um, What should I get next? So here, buy Kindle Gem. Kindle Gem? Mm -hmm. We're going for Black Cleaver. Kindle Gem. Uh, and then no, sell your refillable. Yeah. And then uh, buy a. Do they have any healing? Buy a pickaxe because we're pick going axe. LDR. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, because LDR here is like the biggest spike you'll hit. Okay, I got so you. So if you hit Ghost Blade, Dust Blade, um, CDR, Kindle Gem, right now you have forty percent CDR, which is huge. And mm -hmm. then as soon as you hit your LDR, um, any armor they have built up until that point for the next like. So if you reach LDR by like twenty-seven minutes. From minute 27 to like 35, it'll be like they have zero armor. Can I kill him? Uh, not without QE, because he also has smoke screen. But if Lux gets the bind, we can go on him in melee form here. Mm. Oh? Nah, I missed my, miss my Q. Oh, does Jinx got it? Oh, so close. I, sh I should have killed him. I should have killed him right there. I was stupid. I that really bad. It's all good. It's all good. Just push that wave. Get some vision. Oh, yeah. I put out a point ward. There's one here. Yeah. Look for that cloud, Drake. I saw one person on it. Oh yeah, get those boys. Get those Wait, boys. The They're smite? all alone. Dude, we're not killing anybody here. I want to walk up like be stupid. But... Ooh, ooh, get him. Ghost play. Oh. When, it, when he's in a situation like that and he has no flash, the best option is just to go split on him in melee form. Kill him with Valkyrie? Yeah, try to kill this guy. You have Ignite too. Oh, fuck! I'm so bad at mechanics! They're so gross! <laughs> How do we lose a cloud though? Like, there was no jungler. It's all just in smite. He was right fucking there yeah. too. Oh, we just kinda hinted. I went way too fucking hammered. Yoshi's there. coming. Yoshi's coming. Yoshi, okay, here goes Yoshi. Oh, yeah, baby. It's fucking done, Here's dude. Comes. It's done! Oh, it's well. done! <laughs> the play's done! <laughs> <laughs> this takes no. He's God, this, this is so bad. It's very obvious that I don't play range, guys. I'm like, it feels so weird. It's like, ah, uh, I should be yeah. in there just like bullying people. I'm fucking like being in range. Yeah, and yeah shit. especially if you're, yeah, if you're this fed, um, and you're that. Oh my God. Whoa, what the gracious. fuck? How many harvest stacks? I mean, that much. It's not bad at 23 minutes. Fuck. fuck that was dude. that storm razor crit, baby. Holy what moly, the bro. fuck? I gotta save that shit. <laughs> can be a monster right now. I keep switching back and forth in this. This is on the right key. This key. Ooh, ghost by look for that QE. Yeah, I remember to use that ghost blade too for that. Yeah, I should have used it. I keep fucking. I don't know. It's all good, baby. I used to think this key. My team match is in that key. Yeah, do you have like a key? Put everything on. Yeah, I usually have my team match, my three, not my fucking. Yeah. I'm a I'm a ghost blade one. I think potions on ghost two. Ghost blade one, then, potion on two. Yeah. yeah. That's the move. And He's then like whenever I put my one. stopwatch on two, I'll accidentally uh, pop it for health and then just sit there like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So the the objective here should just be to like push out botling and then group with your team. Try to look for poke and picks. Um, blue buff's also up, so you can try to grab that as well. Oh my. Man, oh, and I forgot to I forgot to mention, but you should have swapped to a uh, blue trinket uh, post level nine. I didn't even notice that. That's my mistake. It should just be common knowledge, you know. 
Oh, there's some guy walking over here. Careful with uh, picks on the graves though, cause he's fucking tanky as shit. Yeah, we should look for uh, like Jin now that he has no flash, cause he flashed earlier. So if Jin is ever near you now, okay. um, and you have your flash up, just flash on him and melee for him and beat his ass. If like he's all alone, um, cause that's all you'll need. The most uh, preferable way to just kill this guy would be to land a QE on him, uh, go into uh, or press your range form W, and then just go into melee form and beat his ass with Q and autos. Okay. Ooh, look for that QE, baby. That was up. If that was up, I would have killed him. Close, close, close. Careful for oh, the it, picks. I'm into, I'm into, that glitch will augment shit slows for so much. Ghost blade. Nice flash. I think switching like this. That, that almost got me killed for switching so much. Switching forms. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's what I was talking about, too. It's just the form management. It locks mm, you yeah, out. Yeah, I've got to do better Either right your utility or your damage. That guy's dead, but you might be able to. Morgan is below you as well. She blind shielded. I can just sit here. Yeah. We gotta pick there. Is there fun? Oh, We're too fucking deep right now. We're way too far. Get caught for fucking. So Lux gross. is on the back end. This is so gross to walk. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, Baron executed Lux? Wait, what? Wait, Baron executed Lux. What was Lux doing? Lux was She so was doing the entire Baron. damage from what the fuck she was trying to do, Baron. <laughs> he was soloing Baron. <laughs> Oh shit, done! Yoshi, baby! Done! Oh! Yeah, you guys fuck. Oh, Good try, Yoshi! Shit! <laughs> I see if he hears me, he's in the living room. Okay, we gotta uh, step it up, though. Okay, right, sell, the, sell the pink cord, get a last whisper. Uh, yeah, I think so. So LDR is the way to go? Yeah, LDR is the move. Um, Are they rushing right now? Are they rushing? Oh, they might be, yeah. Um... I Is that it? TP? Uh, he's a, he's a bear. Hmm. You can try to look for a Kiwi. I want to steal this bitch. Watch some. Things. Oh damn! I should have told you to get blue trinket. Yeah, hit that thing so you can see this vision. Ooh. Ooh. You can look for Kiwis on the Jin too, and just look to kill them all. Fuck! I was too slow. Oh, so close, so close. Fuck, dude. Go for her. Go for her. Go for Jin. Go for Jin. Okay. Get out the CC. Fucking shit, bro. Fuck. I know, dude. Why is Morgana a champion? <laughs> God, dude. I, I should EQ this sooner. You're right. I should just went for the EQ on him. I really want the Baron so bad. I thought it looked fucking sexy. <laughs> I should have that. What the f yeah, and then if you, yeah, the closer you put your gate to, just like the faster it comes out and the harder Yeah, I keep putting it as far, okay, yeah, I keep aiming it and I put my E right there. I need to fucking just have it like right, like right here. Try to yeah. Aim it. So like. Yeah. Well, I, I typically just try to aim it on them like you've been doing. And then just f as as fast as I can. Move your fucking back closer back in. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. I'm in melee. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about, about like that. That was a little too little, deep, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, we're engaging, what the fuck? Uh, hit him with I that Q, wait. baby. Hit him with W. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, get on that gin. He ain't got no flash. Ghostblade. Oh, he, he does have flash. What is this? Fuck, man. Oh. Fuck, dude. Come on, bro. Oh, wait, ah, bad. stupid. Yeah, that's my bad. He's fat as fuck, too. I but they have Baron, you guys are trading 2v2 right now. Yeah, it's not a bad, I mean, it's not a bad of a trade, but they have Baron. Yeah. He has two yeah, clouds, too. He's so bro. fucking quick, bro. Yeah, that's my mistake. I thought he had Oh, you're Baron. good, fam. You're good. Like, you just made me int, but you're right? good. No, <laughs> <laughs> you're just ruining the video, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not mad. <laughs> Holy moly, bro. But that that this is the J this is the problem with Jace, right? Cause like you get pretty fed, you get some kills, and then oh no, they're scaling champions, right? Yeah, I feel so it's yeah, like I see we it. made some mistakes, you know. But, Jace seems like a really good one v one champion for sure, but like yeah, for sure. Situation like like you said, the R your R doesn't exactly help you in like team fight. It's not gonna help you. It's it's a fucking yeah, you know, yeah. Like you said, a game changer, I guess. That was your word. Yeah, yeah. It's not a game changing ultimate. You know? So like the later the game goes. Like, Velkaz is going to have that beam that just one-shots your entire team, yep. and you're going to have QE that does, like, zero damage, because they have all armor, you know? Yeah, I, I, um, I see it, bro. I definitely see it. 
Yeah. This champ, though, man. It'd be so fun to learn this champ. Like, legit learn this champion. My god. Yeah. Obviously, I'm fucking out. No, but it's practice, baby. I, it, like, everyone starts somewhere, dude. I used to be just as, you know, like, inexperienced Probably on the champ, but... And that's the other thing I love, too, because, like, you, you always feel like you're fucking up. And, like, a lot of people don't like that feeling, you know? Of, like, constantly fucking Range. up their champion. But... I well, I don't mind it, dude, because, like, that's how you get better. I had a yeah. stand where I was playing Lee Sin, like, nonstop. Got the D5 oh, yeah. one trick in that bitch, bro. Felt great. Ooh, Yoshi. Where's Yoshi, Yoshi? Yoshi, bro, he's so... He's so deep. Look at Yoshi. So deep. Look at Yoshi, oh, bro. Oh, my goodness, baby. <laughs> The smurf. He's actually disgusting. Hard smurf. Is that done? Is it done, bro? Done and credenda on the same team. Holy shit. Yo, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's down. Uh, push for that mid tower. That's what I'm saying, bottom, too. Man. But he's not trying to rotate for us. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting to tell you that. Yeah, the blue tranky. I keep, I keep blue forgetting, too. Mm -hmm. I, I should have remembered. Wow. I'll oh, hit that tower. Just right? get that tower. Yeah, because that boy is uh, a, be a beefy lad. Ooh, they're flanking on the boss side? Yeah. We going for it? I think we could. Ooh, ooh, baby. Oh, well. If you pillar yourself. Okay, Jen has no flash this time. And I'm not lying to you. So if you flash on him, you can kill him. Flash out of that ring. Oh. Oh my goodness, he's so fed! Oh my um, god, I, um, I made this um, Hmm. Bye bye, Jinx. <laughs> Dude, he's so mistake. fucking big right now. Oh, this oh, is bad. crap. See, it's funny, the last couple team fights is like, oh yeah, you can- He's been nothing, dude. Like, now right? it's like, bro, it's like, like two-shot me. Yeah, ooh, Lux got that shit. But yeah, it was like after the Baron, and after he got all those levels, and I think he based with like a ton of- Oh yeah, he's fucking he's, insane now. He's huge. Oh, baby! Oh, is that done, though? Oh, the flash! Oh, no! We're just not gonna kill him without flashing, to be completely honest. Yeah. Uh, buy a stopwatch here. Buy a stopwatch? Okay. We're going GA next? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always like to sit on the stopwatch, too, even if I'm not going GA. Because okay. we might want to go QSS this game, honestly. I mean, honestly, um, yeah. It'd be all dear. Because of all that. Mm, okay. Mm. Stop and maybe bitch. in hindsight too, because I would have ran the CDR option just because the poke and stuff. I did it. They do have a lot of crowd control, so Merc Treads might have been a better option for you too. Ooh. Flash on. Oh. Ah, I can't. Do you ever run like sustain items by chance or no? Like death uh, dance and stuff like that? Mm, I think the best sustain option to run and like the only one. I need blue really trick. Fuck me, dude. Go for. Or there's like two I'd go for, right? Because I can, you can go for Merc Skim this game, and it'll actually be really nice, because that'll give you the sustain and then also the QSS. Um, and you can also go Bork. I'd wait till he bases, and then try to go for the Graves. Kind of kills, oh. man. I, um, don't think I don't so. think so. Yeah, you definitely cannot kill that guy. Yeah, Alright, just base regroup. Yeah, I see his mouth back. This is like this is like the point where it's like, oh snap, I don't know. Oh, we'll our win condition right now is literally Jinx Victor. That's our win condition. And but I, but I love this though because this game perfectly describes like, Jason in a nutshell. Jason is a champion. Yeah, Jason in a nutshell. Yeah. Like, early game monster. I'm bro, it's for right. real, dude. I felt it, man. Yeah. And then as soon as you get to this part, it's like these guys have a lot of tools to do shit to me. Ooh, that's clean, clean chunk. Clean those. Yeah, because he's got a lot of sustain now, yeah, too. And that's the other sustain. thing, too, with Jace, is, like, sustain is so prevalent with AD carries and stuff. Um, and just champs in general, that if you don't end the... Ooh, that was a fat QE. Go for that Scion. Just beat that boy's ass. Ghost Blade. Okay, let's try. Let me try to help this boy out. Ooh, got that QE on a Vel'Koz. Oh, oh stop, stop, stop. stop. Oh. God, fuck! I've stopped watch. What am I doing? I've stopped watch. Wouldn't matter. I, it, I shouldn't probably just go ham like that. I need to stay back. If I go ham at all, I'm just gonna get fucking wrecked. Because Jin's yeah, right there in the you, back If line. you just went for the um, because uh, the Vel'Koz was pretty low. If you yeah. go for the auto there and then go in with the melee, you might have been able to get some stuff. But I think so as well. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Wait, they put yeah, a fucking thing on me, Night Spiral. What? Yeah, but with this, you know, it's just like nights. Like hindsight's just so 2020. You know. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. I thought we were gonna get that shit. I thought she got it, bro. Holy. Well, that damage though, Dark Harvest, holy hell. This shit's starting to hurt like hell. 
246. Yikes. Damn. Yeah, and now we're at like that 35 minute I should mark definitely where... be one on the tank right there, though, instead of fucking rotating right there. Like you said, I just get free damage. I keep looking at their back on the entire time, not so much like the tanks in front. Yeah, because yeah, if they're back on zone enough, you know, you can just use that melee to kind of shred. No, yeah, do some extra damage, too. For real. Yeah. Just don't say minus for an hour. <laughs> oh, I keep Ooh. switching over. I should stop switching over like that. I keep looking for a play, but... Ooh. Nice. Oh. Ooh, Yoshi. The 1v9. Nice, nice. Ooh, Valkaz is there. This key. Yeah, I'm talking to them. Okay, they have three clouds, bro. Uh, if they stay here, you, might, you guys might be able to get some stuff, but... Ooh, I can't wait for that Valkaz. I'll just clear the wave, probably. Elder's up, too, so you guys gotta get vision for that. Clear this in uh, melee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, she's trying so hard. Oh my god, Ooh, Yoshi! Baby. Oh, baby, let's go! <laughs> what the oh, fuck, yo? Close. She's insane. Oh, so close. So close, bro. He's actually fucking nuts. Keep going. Uh, go what's go timers? Yeah, you should fall back reset and look for uh, Elder, probably. Get the reds up. There's space here. Yeah, look for that elder. Yeah, that elder is going. I'm going black. Oh, right yeah. Here. Going to him. him. What am I getting right here? Uh, you can't really buy right much. Now. You could buy like a red pot because the next fight's probably going to decide the fight, and then I would get a blue trinket as well because we've been forgetting that. Blue trinket, gosh! <laughs> that's literally the meme of this video. is blue trinket, bro. Like that's like. Literally... Oh, you didn't even get it. How you many packs? You didn't even buy the blue trinket. Wait, what? I thought I clicked him. Oh, no. Okay, okay, I'm out. It's game over, dude. Go to Elder. <laughs> I'm so- wait, what is Jake doing? Elder, oh, dude, no! Get, re get ready for the QE. I'm ready for the snipe. You're an invisible snipe. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the game. Oh, this is it, baby. This is, this is it, baby. Go. How much damage can I do? Uh, you can do around like a- like 900. Probably 900, like a thousand. I would try to aim him like 800, a thousand. Now, uh... Let's go! Oh, Let's go! Oh, yes! Oh, <laughs> Fuck champ! We did! <laughs> You're Yoshi! Fuck yeah, baby! Oh yeah, keep looking at that pressure, baby! Oh, Let's that fucking elder, go! Pog is the one chick. It the is Kodenda. Right it, it is fucking Where legends are made. I didn't try to block it off. They made that machine. You said 900, bro. I was like, alright, bet. Easy money. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Easy money, walk, baby. Walk, Just like range smite. Please walk in. I don't want to one v one. Yeah, you can't one shot the graves, but I try to QE the morgue and the Velkas right now. Back, to the back, to the back, to the back. Oh yeah, yeah, go, go. Fuck, I got a land. Go, split, go. Fuck these oh, clouds, bro. Fuck. Oh, what? Oh, oh, so come close, so close. on, come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> that steel though, that steel, the steel oh, kept the game alive, though. baby. It's clean. Right here with that QE. Oh. What's this boy doing? Oh. What is you, you doing? You got a ping, you got a ping, you got a ping, 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 ping. No! Alright, push that up, push that up. Yes, you yes, guys yes. can probably uh, end if you play it right, if you poke right. Just keep looking for poke onto that Velkaz too, because he doesn't have the sustain. The Jin has the sustain. And the poke on the Velkaz is gonna stick. Okay. Yeah, you're right. His stake is he has blood there. Yeah, so, you're just at, at that point. You're just using mana on something that's. Oh, ooh, go up and help your. Help those boys up there. Look at Velkas. Is that QE bubble? Oh, kill that boy. Oh, you have ignite. Okay, you got it. Got him, but like, ugh. I fucked up there. I got black cleaver. I think I got black cleaver. Don't I? Yeah. Yeah. So now it overcaps you on CDR. So the next time you have gold, sell your boots and get merc treads. Oh yeah, blue trinket, blue trinket, yes, yes. Yeah, blue trinket, blue trinket, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Wait, oh, no, one. stop. Guys, one, dude, I fucked, man. Fuck. I, I never <laughs> switch from yellow trinket as top liner. Especially for Nectin. I look for cheese picks all the time. And they can't see the yellow ward, so it's like, it's just kind of cheesy. Yeah. Gathering storm. Yeah, and oh well, my and just God. with blue trinket on Jace, it's so good, because it could give you the necessary vision. Oh, you need the fucking vision. Especially as a ranged champ in general, like, you want that yeah. vision. 
and, and you saw with like that Baron fight and the Elder, if they played it properly and cut it out, you actually have zero vision over it unless you get the blue trinket, right? And then mm. if you time the blue trinket right, then you just get that bit of vision. Yeah, a little bit of vision. They're like, okay, I might be able to time at this point. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like post nine, the lane's pretty, the laning phase is pretty much over. You're gonna have like your control ward down. So. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Little things like yeah. that for sure. Um, do you ever? Yeah. So like, whenever you sell, like, how much is your CDR boot sell for right now? I don't know. Six thirty. Six thirty. Okay. Whenever. Yeah, I need a little um, money. It's like one wave. I need a wave. Yeah, because you need eleven hundred, right? Yeah. yeah it's, not, it's kind of blurry, actually. How much money do you have in your inventory right now? I have four forty. Four forty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I clear this right here, honest. Hundred, and then you can get that mercs, and the fights will be a lot easier too. Because now you have forty percent CDR, you got that merc red, and then you still have your stopwatch for the next fight too. Yep, definitely. So um. I haven't used it. I think keep, you can, it's not that I'm forgetting. It's just I don't know if it's a good time to use it. I don't want to just waste it. Yeah. And then uh, another thing you should look for with the stopwatch yeah. is if um, you're in melee form and you Q and you stopwatch while you're flying in the air in your Q, your Q will still go off and deal the damage and you'll be untargetable from the point you press stopwatch. So if you Q and then stopwatch immediately, you'll uh, Zanya's in like while you're flipping in the air and then still hit them with the Q damage. So it's really good to like, um, if you ever need like an engage and you know you're gonna get hit by something as soon as you land, stop watching the middle of your jump. Shouldn't eat. It's not, it's one of those, if you know your Q's gonna miss, I shouldn't even fucking eat. Wait, say that again, you can cut out. I keep, uh, I keep using my Q and then after the Q I see, even if I know the Q's gonna miss, I should probably not do that no more, right? Yeah. It's kinda stupid, it's a waste of mana. Yeah, and then I'll, yeah, of course, always look for that. If you ever like, use too much mana, just auto those mm -hmm. uh, minions for the mana. Dun's dead. I mean Yoshi. Dun's dead. <laughs> uh, can you one v one this guy? I only this guy's really strong. Long, but... Rotate with me. Ah, that guy's got BT too. I can't one v one. No fucking way. He's got Phantom Damage. Shit. Mm -hmm. How is he and not so the... dead? Just die already. Oh my goodness, the... he's one ver. Oh, he missed the laser. He's almost versus nine. I'm just like watching, like just chilling and watching. Love that. Yeah. So the, um, and, and the reason I told you to get LDR here too, even though they do have two champs that have sustain is because what the, your win condition in this game is like blowing someone up, right? Cause I mean, your poke, yeah, with mortal, it'll prevent him from sustaining a little bit, but chances are if Jin gets away from you anyway, mm -hmm. um, he's yeah. gonna sustain, right? So like the LDR, just that extra 10% of total armor penetration might be the difference between fully bursting him and fully killing him. Um, especially if you get him in like any of your CC, your binds is like where you're gonna really look for that damage. Same no, with yeah, Morgana. Definitely. And you're gonna be wanting to look for poke on just Velkaz and Morgana because they have the least amount of sustain. Not e though. <laughs> Ooh, ghost play, ghost play. Hey, I just fucked up, fucked up, oh. fucked up. Ooh, nice flash. Ooh. Oh. I didn't like him. Nah, you don't have anyone else to help. She's in GA though, and you still have your stopwatch, remember? Ooh, good chunk. Yoshi's here, baby. Yoshi, the carry. I carry. Look at that fucking like consumable here, I think. Yeah, it's the red pot. What? Yeah, and you still have stopwatch too, which is really important. This thing's been on me the entire time, this night's nice, foul. Like, cool. Yeah. I don't run Jinx. Wait, this guy's into Oh baby. This guy's oh baby. Flash. You get that QE action. Ghost play. Oh close. And I'm in it. No fuck! Stop 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 Nice, run, run, run. Okay. Thank god we're alive. <laughs> I was literally just like, please. Oh, oh, oh. Unsigned. Oh, no! oh I'm downtown. Yeah, yeah. Ah oh, damn, that might be game. Did we throw it? No. That's like it. We no! stole the elder. Though. That elder steal is fucking pog as hell, bro. I think that they still like... gave like good hints out of Jace though, like how strong he can yeah. be in any phase. I didn't even play. I messed up so many little things, and I was still like winning most trades. Like by yeah. Damn, I said that. You know it shows your late game too. I like, yeah, I you know he still can be really good. Yeah, I think yeah, it just shows, you know, like the the early game really, really strong, but you gotta keep that tempo, man. You gotta keep, you gotta keep that exactly. tempo. There's a lot of times I kind of just like didn't do anything. Like yeah, because if you get a little over aggressive, get a little greedy, because I mean, you're, you know, you're Chad, you got a big dick, you're walking around, you're right? You're just dick, one yes. shot and everyone. You're Chad, bro. And then Chad, you know, he gets, you know, five of the boys come and take Chad on a little trip, you know, and then you just, you're <laughs> never, you're never the exactly. same. 
gotta go to the restroom, <laughs> lol. <laughs> Are they gonna end the game? What are they doing? They're taking forever. A spawn. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> that big thing. Oh, get it. Oh, smoke speed. I'm going. Balanced ability. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. Oh, baby, get it. Oh, you gotta get that sign off there. Oh, baby, he's switching. He's switching lanes. Oh, let's go. You got him. He's dead, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, close, 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 close. Let's go, baby. Right, okay, fun. let's go, let's go. That was awesome. I that Elder that Steel was fun, nuts, bro. Dude. That was clean. That, that was, was honestly about my favorite one I've done so far. Anyways, besides that, man, uh, I really enjoyed hanging out with you. I truly, truly did. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Is there uh, anything you want to say to anybody before uh, we call it good? Oh, uh, yeah. So, you know, um, you can follow me on Twitch.tv uh, at Twitch.tv slash Credenda. Um, I have a YouTube channel also, Credenda. So just YouTube slash C slash Credenda. Um, follow me on Twitter at the Credenda and Place.tv Credenda. I sometimes upload clips of when I'm playing. And I pretty much stream every day. So, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to come by the stream and check it out. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm.